Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be reacting to this video that Corridor Crew put up. So first off, before we start this, I'm a massive fan of Corridor Crew. They are VFX people. They react to bad and, you know, good VFX and they've made a video on Supergirl and I thought I would react to it because I do have some opinions and I've talked about uh, Supergirl's kind of shabby CGI recently on Twitter if you follow me on Twitter at the DCTV show. So we're going to react to this video. It's about three minutes long, the clip. It's just from a section of their videos. So big fan of them. Let's watch this. Okay, so I'm going to put these headphones on. I don't have small headphones. Um, but yes, let's react to this video. Such as, how do you make CG look real? Also, why does that CG look so bad? All right, let's jump in. So this is from last episode. Oh, is this the Supergirl clip? Yeah. I haven't seen it yet. You've never seen Supergirl, dude? <laughs> Come on. They're, they are dude, if that's how you intro. If that's how you intro. Not, so, not bad, not bad. Pretty good intro. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, is why, that? Why, yeah, this is why, the is one clip. Like, is that? A, but why? Head. Why are you trying to do CG heads? That's the hardest the thing. I agree. Oh, Supergirl was the construction worker the whole time. This is just okay, bad. Don't make it. Oh. Limited budget, guys. That's a great Limited shot. Budget. That is a great shot. I love that. This, this, so this definitely looks like amateur After Effects. Effects. Well, they're biting off more mm. than they can chew. First off, a yeah. full CG head with the head talks, with the rough. lips, it, you're biting off a lot yeah. there. By the way, I think they used the same shot twice here. Go to, go back a little bit further before the woman just randomly transforms. So that reaction. That reaction. Yeah, they're hiding it by doing a push zoom on one of them. I did not notice no that, but it's true. That's just like classic bad mm. physics that you sometimes get when trying to do it real like that. It's like she punches him hard enough for him to fly. 20 feet over to a wall, mm. Slowly. and yet it takes him you can like really an hour tell to get that there. Also, that shot missed. of them on the glass. I'm like, not sure if that's Melissa or wow. her stunt This looks like blue Swiss cheese. How would we have done that mm. differently? Bloom. <laughs> yeah, See, yeah. they so are the very constructive, yeah. and I like, like that. There's no blue on the actors. Like, there's no like blue light really being cast mm. in them. Particles are the oh, thing God. that I would want to add here. You could even drop in like a literally a fire embers element and just color it blue and just have like a little. Asian play. What about muzzle flash? I'm all for acknowledging, you know, short time, yeah. crappy decisions from the producer and stuff like that. I can't excuse bad muzzle flashes. Yeah, they got yeah, a thing got, like, against muzzle flashes. got like the M4 muzzle flash <laughs> on the front where the gas expands out the side of the muzzle brake. And it's like really tiny. It looks, it looks ridiculous. And this is the clip. Dude, that. <laughs> She's clearly just jumping onto like a crash pad in front of a green screen. And they're just Yikes. taking her and <laughs> keep framing her they're out just... to the left. You, you can know. see her hair go straight up. Yeah, as she accelerates sideways. Yeah. Mm. I would have just not had her accelerate. I would have just let her continue diving, cut, and the next shot she's spinning around, and now You're so I'm right. blasting. Don't Why accelerate. Even? Yeah, mm -hmm. don't accelerate. I mean, and honestly, the director of the show shouldn't have shot this like this at all to begin with. Every single VFX shot mm -hmm. is locked off. They're going with like the easiest way they can approach these shots, but it's really just making them look really bad because they have nothing. There is to so much weaknesses. Like this shot. He, See, they like close it. Up like that. See, That's the sweet shot right better. there. Yeah. It's true. It's this might have been the case where it's like I've heard that. VFX shots mm. need to be locked off when you shoot them. If it's not locked off, it's gonna be way more expensive yeah. and take a lot more time is probably what they're thinking. I think you're totally right. Yeah. I know people who work mm. on shows like this and it's usually just like literally the tiniest team. It was probably legit. Yeah, like one VFX guy. Well, so, uh, you know, not too much to react to, um, but I will give some opinions on it. So let's go over and talk about it in my normal format. So yeah, you know, first off going into this video, I thought they were going to be, you know, a bit more harsh. Like they were critical, but in a good way. And I want to talk about the video first, then I'll talk about my opinions to do with Supergirl CGI overall. And, you know, especially last episode, because a lot of people have had opinions online about this and some people have been really harsh against it and haven't considered they have a budget, it's on the CW. So what Corridor actually say in the video is entirely correct, I really do agree with them. You know, it doesn't seem like they shot it in the best way that they could have done because that whole fight scene is so CGI heavy, you got everything going on with Malefaic, 
and you've got everything going on with Supergirl, she's flying across the screen, there's gun shots and, you know, various things like Alex and everyone, they all sort of phase in from these sort of fake personas. I think that's Wind's device, I could be wrong, but anyway, so you've got all of that and I think what they have done is chew off more than they could actually handle in terms of CGI, not in terms of like filming. I think the filming could have been done a bit better at certain points, as Corridor have pointed out, but you can, you know, watch that to go back on the points where it's really good. I, I really do agree with them. So let's talk about my opinion. So I don't have a problem with it. Like, the thing is, watching the episode on Sunday night when I watched it and I reviewed it after, I didn't even mention the CGI because I didn't actually notice it when I was watching it. And that's because we are so used to the CW and its CGI. And if you're an outsider looking in, you can tell, oh, the CGI is not very good. But I want to build a defense for the CW and Supergirl's CGI, you know, with it being shabby. Because when you're watching it, you're a regular watcher, you love the show and everything like that. Say you love The Flash. The Flash has a bigger budget. Legends of Tomorrow has a bigger budget than Supergirl. Their CGI isn't always good. Their CGI is very shabby at points. But that's the same thing with all budgeted shows and they don't have the ability to have the absolutely incredible CGI that say Marvel can get for Avengers Endgame and various other films like that. They can get amazing amounts of money. The CW, they shoot about 22 episodes a year, they have to spread the budget out, the VFX is done within a few weeks, maybe a month if lucky. So they don't have the resources and ability to make it that sort of end game level so that is my major defense against it and also because you know that if you're a regular watcher you just watch the show for the characters you watch it for the storylines you don't watch it to see how great the cgi is even though it's a superhero show and that's a part of it of course but that's not something that you really look at to be honest unless you rewatch, and then you will look at that like i did after and I saw the scene I went back and looked at the bit when Supergirl was flying and I can see it's really bad like it's really good at first she jumps over but then she's literally wiped off the screen I can acknowledge that and I can see it's terrible it's rubbish but you don't notice that if you actually watch the episode it's only upon analyzing and re-watching that you pick up on those nitpicks but they're not important for the overall episode and that goes for the same for all the CW shows, all TV shows really, because they don't have the budget and the ability to make absolutely stunning CGI all around. Like sometimes on The Flash you get absolutely amazing moments, but they don't have very good CGI. That's not a big deal, we don't make a big deal of that, because, you know, we're kind of used to it and we know they have extreme limitations compared to other projects, especially in films. So same thing goes for this, and I can acknowledge it's bad, and obviously some of it's pretty good. I think a few shots with Jean's brother, Malafaic, is good. But then you can see when he's talking and it's just his head. They've just CGI'd over, you know, the body of the actor. I think it's actually David underneath it. I could be wrong. But you could tell that they haven't filmed that in the optimal way, as Corridor have said. Because, you know, they should have, if they had the budget, they would have put, like, markers on his face to track the motion of his movement in his lips and everything like that. But they can't do that. They don't have the time or the money to do that. So, I think people really recently have been overlooking some of the CGI and really have been quite critical of it. And I think Corridor really pointed out the good things. But if you watch the episode as a whole episode, if you watch Supergirl week to week you won't be affected by that, and I think that is where people who don't watch the shows are being critical, and I think, you know, if they actually watch the shows, they would be less critical, because, you know, it's not a major part of the show, even though it has an element of importance. So, yeah, that's my defense for Supergirl, and it's poor CGI. I can acknowledge that it's not very good at all, for the most part, like, sometimes it's pretty good, but... Yeah, so they're my reasons. Let me know what are your thoughts in the comments down below, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
Icy Room. <laughs>